TVs, it's Psychic Bob. Well, here we are, it's Wiccan Wednesday, and I'm so glad you guys are here. Have I got a special treat for you guys today. I've created a new altar to the Order of the Purple Cord. I was finding my old altar was just too small, and so I decided to take it up to the next level. So I thought today we'd have a tour of the new altar to the Order of the Purple Cord. So if you want to have an altar tour, come on along. Behold the mystic chalice of the Order of the Purple Cord. It's set in its tabernacle at the new shrine. Let us look at it. <gasps> hey, Tubies. As you can see here, I've got a new Purple Cord tapestry. It's got a giant pentacle and vibrant purple. As you look closer at this tapestry, you can see it has cords of purple woven throughout it, which is the symbol of the Order of the Purple Cord. And in the center is a giant cord, also in blackish purple, made in the side of the pentacle. It's massive. We've got below it our tabernacle, and there's our altar with our purple altar cloth. We've got a pentacle altar cloth. We're going to take a tour of the altar up close, so come on. Over on the left, I put a beautiful sparkling silver star. I love the pentagram and the pentacle, and so I just saw this and I thought it's beautiful. And over on the right, I also have another star. In fact, let me move it out of the way here. It's done in purple. It's a purple glitter star. And isn't that just beautiful? And then I've got my mystical wizards here. I just love them. Aren't they great? This guy, he holds a tray. I can actually put incense cones on it. And he's got a staff, and he's dressed in purple robes. Now, for some reason on camera, it looks blue, but he's actually purple in person. So he's got purple robes on, looking magical and mystical. Right next to him is the tabernacle. Now, this is my shrine to the sacred chalice. And as you can see inside, I have a beautiful silver chalice. It actually looks purple. It's reflecting the altar cloth down here. And uh, it's done in wood. And the doors of the shrine close. So at night, we can veil the chalice. But you can see it's a beautiful wooden tabernacle. And it sits on a beautiful purple velvet cloth here. And I showed you guys this here. This is my new little crystal ball. So, um, you know, purple and black and, uh, and silver, kind of the colors of the order. But here's our mystical tabernacle. And as you can see, the beautiful engravings on it. On the top, this is something I just recently got. I thought you guys would like to see. It's actually an oil burner. Uh, I took the oil plate off of it. But it's the triple goddess. So we've got... Uh, hold on a second. Let me turn it around here. We've got the maiden, the mother, and then the crone. And these are three witches, and they're all hand holding hands. A little glass plate sits in between their arms. But as I said, I've taken it off because I like it more as a statue rather than an oil burner. Now, down in the bottom here, you can see... They're standing, there's a pentacle that they stand around. And that's a candle holder. I can put a candle down there as well. But I just love this. And on each of their robes, it's hard to see here on camera, they have beautiful mystical symbols woven. And around the base here, they've got leaves. You see strewn on the ground. It's very Wiccan looking. But I like these three witches. And so I've put them here on top of the tabernacle as kind of like the guardian, like the three witches are guarding the sacred chalice below. Then over here on this side, we've got our beautiful wizard as well. You can see this little wizard statue. And I have him holding a, a cord for the Order of the Purple Cord. And uh, you know, you might want to think about if you're setting up an altar to the Order of the Purple Cord, your own personal altar, you could have a, like a wizard or a witch. If you have a statue, you can drape a cord over it so they can be holding. This is funny because I literally made this cord and as you can see, I literally just draped it over his hands here. <laughs> and it just looks perfect, like he's holding the purple cord. So I just love it. And then also on my altar, I have my travel book of shadows, which Lady Angela made me. And it's done in purple velvet. I just love it. 
And then as you open, I got the raven inside, which is my totem animal. And uh, you see just all sort of blessings here. And then I've got my big dragon book of shadows. And many of you have seen this on the witching hour. But this was my Christmas gift from Lady Angela. It's a giant book of shadows. Here's my certificate of authenticity. I love it. Signed by Lady Angela, dated December 2017. And, you know, if you were, are looking for a book of shadows for your altar, you can't go wrong by choosing Lady Angela. She custom makes these books, and they're just incredible. Uh, this is a hardbound book, and it's got pentacles inlaid on it, and in real metal. And the corners are done with metal fastenings and s antique silver. And you can see it's a thick book, and it even has silk bookmarkers inside. So I just love my Book of Shadows, and I'm keeping it here with my other little book on my altar. So I got them both here. And this altar, as you can see, takes up a whole wall area. And down below, we've got a beautiful altar cloth here that you can see goes down to the floor. Don't look underneath. I got junk under there, but... <laughs> But I got this cool, it's called Pentacles of Night, and it's kind of different rainbow colored pentacles on the altar. And so, as you see, we've got a pretty major altar setup going on here. Also on my altar, I have my cords that I wear. This is my purple cord that many of you guys see me wear each week on the Sunday video. And that's a woven cord made out of paracord. Isn't that beautiful? And then this is a little cord that I'm working on weaving. It's going to be like a little necklace cord in purple. Or I might drape it on a statue. Like this statue could use a cord also. So this is another little purple cord. I haven't finished. I just started weaving it. And then I've got this other. This is going to be a large cord. It's folded up now. But it's going to be woven and braided and made into a, a large scale cincture for my robes or a belt. And it's got different shades of purple mixed in. So, you know, if you're making your cords for the order of the purple cord, it doesn't have to just be one color. It can be many shades of purple or purple and blue mixed and different colors. But the predominant colors, we say, should be purple. So there you go. Now, some of you have been asking me more, you know, to tell a little more about our sacred chalice. Um, let me show it to you here. I keep this enshrined on behalf of the order. It represents, it's a symbol of the goddess. It's a sacred tool of the work of the order. And I'm going to take out our chalice here. And as you can see, it's a beautiful silver chalice lined all in pure silver. And it's got a pentacle. It's hard to see. You've got some glare here. It's got a pentacle on, on it. And it's got a beautiful silver base. The whole thing is done in silver. In fact, I'll set it down here and you can look at it. But as you can see, it just gleams. And the chalice is, I feel drawn to work with the chalice. So as the high priest of the order, I've uh, set up this shrine to, to be a kind of a symbol of the goddess. And my work is keeper of the sacred chalice. Now, each of us have different functions in the order. Lord Tony, who you see on Sunday, he is the keeper of the sacred sword. He's Lord Guardian. He has a sword that he holds on in behalf of the order to represent the work of guardianship. And Lady Angela is the keeper of the book now because she's managing the membership uh, roles of the order. And so she keeps the sacred book of the list of the order's members. And I feel drawn to work with the chalice. And so, in the future, we'll probably have more officers of the order. By the way, that chalice is not purple. It just looks purple. It's reflecting this cloth and this cloth, so it looks purple. Um, but as you can see, it's an illusion because it's actually silver when we bring it out. And it was kind of interesting. It's a beautiful chalice, though. And, um, you know, as, as I said, as we get more members of the order, we may have other people who will take on guardian roles to guard different sacred objects. In the old days, the ancient witch temples, they would have sacred objects that were sacred to the coven that were guarded. And so, you know, this chalice is for literally all of us and members of the Order of the Purple Cord. So um, know that this is a sacred symbol of our order.
So there you go, guys. This is our sacred altar now for the Order of the Purple Cord. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Oh, guys, there's another thing that I forgot to show you that I think you'll enjoy. Also, inside the tabernacle, I'm keeping some little chalice pendants. And I wear these to honor my position as keeper of the sacred chalice. And here's one of my pendants. You guys have seen these, but I didn't know if you've seen them recently. So there's my pewter chalice. It's got a pentacle on it. And it matches this chalice. So there's silver chalice with pentacles. And I have that. So I wear that when I want to honor my position as keeper of the sacred chalice. It's a beautiful chalice piece. Actually, I bought this. If you like these and you're drawn to chalices, you can buy this over at Lady Angela's website at rarewickaspells.com. I'll have the links below. And I also bought this recently from a silversmith. Um, let's see here. It's a silver chalice. It's a tiny little one. Let me see if I can bring it up here. But it's beautiful because it has, and you can't see it here clearly on this, but it has a pentacle in, on it as well. And it's a little silver, tiny little silver chalice as well. So I got both of these silver chalice charms to wear to honor my work as Keeper of the Silver Chalice. Well, guys, there you go. Now you get to have your own official tour of the Altar of the Purple Cord. If you're interested in joining the Order of the Purple Cord, there's no charge, absolutely free. Send me an email uh, requesting your interest in joining. In fact, go over to my website at robert shickmancom The link will be below. You can read about the order and our requirements, but membership is free. And then you can contact me and uh, we'll get you into the order. And once you're joined, you'll get your membership certificate and you'll be admitted to our Facebook group. So we have a lot of fun and you can join us also each Sunday for the witching hour where we have our kind of gathering of the order. So I welcome you guys to be part of our order, the purple cord. Join us with us to learn about the mysteries of Wicca and magic. And uh, we'd love you to be part of it. Listen, if you want to help Psychic Bow Bow, also like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. Well, listen, we'll be back here tomorrow. It'll be Vlog Thursday. And uh, I don't know what we're doing, but we'll have some sort of adventure. So make sure to be here and we'll see you then. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. Sending blessings to you. We'll see you here tomorrow. And until then, may you always blessed be.